right now we are going to do the second video of the tutorial for how to build a budget in Excel. If you haven't already checked out the uh, first video, I will link that down below as well as the playlist for all of these together. It is going to be awesome and exciting and you are going to learn so much. All right, so we already have October going strong with our income, regular costs, and our variable expenses all broken down down here with a little teaser of what's to come. So now we are going to work on our debt. So I'm just going to insert some cells here so we have plenty of room to work. Um, okay, so this one I am going to do a little bit different. This is gonna be the same here. Uh, let me copy these. And then I'm going to do balance. So we're going to add a row. And then I'm going to, well, let's see how many we have. So this is going to be debt. The first one is going to be a Visa card, a car, student loan, oops, one. I'm sorry guys, these are supposed to be over here, so we're just going to clear those out. And this is student loan number two. And then that's all the debt we have, so we're going to total this out. So we're just going to put total. Okay, so you're going to list your debts from smallest to largest, as you know already. Um, and like I said, you should already have a paper budget. Um, but if not, then this will help you with that as well. Then we are going to merge and center these and then bring it to the middle. This I'm going to do, dun dun dun, we're going to do this in red. It's kind of a burnt orange red, but y'all get the point. Okay, so then this is going to be a lighter red. Yeah, that's really orange, but that's okay. Um, and then these are going to be um, format send cells. We're going to do these as currency. And this is going to be currency as well. Okay, so we are going to budget. These are going to be our minimum payments. So 8325, 100, 124. We're going to total these out. And then over here, I'm going to put the balance of the loans. So like I said, we're gonna list these as smallest to largest. Um, and these are our total payoff amounts. So right now, we are $70,918 in debt. Whoo, that's a lot. Okay, so we are going to look at our total in right now. And if all of our money is gone through this, then we're done. We're, we're done making a budget. We don't have any money for sinking funds or anything like that. Um, but we do have some leftover money because as you can see, $29.50 is how much we made this month. And then our total out is $2,023 plus $6.29. So I know that we are under that mark right there. So we are going to do some sinking funds. So I am going to do, we're going to mix this up a little bit. So we're going to merge this one. And then this is going to be the balance. You know what? We're actually going to keep it the same. Just because I want to live life on the edge. All right. So for our sinking funds. Whoops. If you make a mistake, just do uh, Control Z or Command Z if you have a Mac, and it'll go right back to where you were before. It's wonderful. It's like an undo. So we're gonna do sinking funds. The first one is going to be supplemental transfer. Next is going to be Christmas, the new car. Vacations, medical, car, insurance, total. OK, 
Okay. So then we want to draw boxes around all of these. We are going to merge and center and wrap tasks as two different words. Bring that to the middle. Then we are going to see how this is over here again. So I'm just going to double click on B and it's going to bring it over so that nothing is moving into the next one. All right, let's let's pick a color for this. Let's do let's do gray. That seems like a fun color. Then we are going to do light gray. Is that a little bit, little bit of contrast there? Okay, so we're going to leave supplemental blank right there. Christmas, we are going to do $25. New car, $50. Vacations, $20. Medical, $20. And car insurance, $180. So if you don't know what a sinking fund is, um, I have a video on it that I will link below as well as well as do as iCard. But it is a amount that you are saving for for a specific thing like for Christmas or for car insurance. So I pay my car insurance every six months. So if I pay $180 and set that aside every single month for six months, at the end of that six months I will be able to make a lump sum payment and pay that all at one time and it just makes it so much easier and therefore when I do that with my car insurance company they give me a discount and so for Christmas that way you know November's coming and you're not freaking out because you haven't started saving for Christmas and you have to spend all this money that way if you put $25 away each month at the end of the 12 months you'll have about $300 which is awesome okay so we're gonna add up all of these auto sum that now supplemental transfer, I didn't put anything there. We're going to get back to that. That's going to be if you use a sinking fund. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my balances of what I currently have in my sinking funds. So right now I have 300 for Christmas, 150 for new car, 140 for vacations, 60 for medical, and 720 for, oh, I moved those in the wrong ones. So we're just going to shift those, clear out this one. 720 for car insurance. Okay, so we're just going to format these cells. We're going to highlight, right click, format cells, and currency. All right, so we are good to go. And now we are going to want to total everything out. Well, then we have to add this total here. So we have $1,370 in our singing fund, which is awesome. All right, so I'm going to grab a couple black boxes here, and we are going to make these black. Uh, actually, we'll do that after. Okay, so I'm going to take these here, and we are going to merge and center them. Oh, not all four, I'm sorry. All right, so this is going to be merge and center, total out. And this one is going to be final. Then this will merge and center here. Okay. So then this is going to be, you know, I'm just going to be easier for me if I have these all blocked out just so I can see the difference. Okay. So we have fine total out. So this is going to be all of our expenses totaled out. So we're going to do equals, and we want the total of our regular costs. Then we're going to do plus total of our debt costs plus total of our budgeted, or our sinking funds costs. And press enter, and it's going to total everything right there. Then we're going to do the same with our, um, and these should all be formatted to currency as well. Do that again. Not number, currency. Okay, so now we are going to do the same, that was with the budgeted, so now we're gonna do it with actual. So we're gonna go equals this number here, plus this one here, this total here, plus this, and then press enter. Now we don't have any totals in, so that is perfect. 
All right, then we want to do one here, and this is gonna be a little bit confusing. So we're gonna do equals 29.50, which is our budget amount. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to do our actual amount minus our actual um, actual income minus our actual outgoing and that's gonna be zero for right now so that is perfect okay so we set up those formulas those are a little bit difficult to to kind of get there but that's okay so I'm going to stop this recording right now and then in the next one we're going to put in the amounts which is super exciting because that means that we get paid which is awesome Alright, so stay tuned for video number three.